Hey, what's up and welcome back to my Rogue Tech series. So today, um, after the last episode, we had took on the pirates that had damaged our ship a few episodes back and we destroyed them basically and we managed to flip um, El Heroin here uh, to Majesty of Canopus. So today we're going to do something similar. We are going to go after uh, Farandir or Farah... Far <laughs> Fenardir. We're going to head over here and see if we can do the same thing here. So let's just travel. We're not going to uh, use the pirate jump point this time. We don't need to do it. Costs us the same either way. So I'm thinking we're looking for um, some good cash or good salvage today. Uh, we need to get that third lance up and running, the light lance. And we also need money to get our third uh, mech bay up and running. Um, let's trust Yang. There's uh, problems going down in the mech. Let's just trust Yang to handle the situation. We're losing some tech points, but we don't have anything in the mech bay right now, so we're okay. So we've got enough um, mechs in storage to be able to make a light lance. It's just that bringing them forward and outfitting them is going to cost a little bit of cash and some time. And I think we want to, before we start getting them rolling, we want to get our third mech bay up and running. So that's going to be two and a quarter million. So we need to get some uh, really, really good cash going. So I'm thinking probably what we're going to do, we're going to pull a mission off here. Let's have a look what's in the store first. See if there's anything good. We bypassed a few ATMs a little earlier on because we didn't have the money. Clan ER medium is not bad. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look like much here. Just regular exchangers that we have already got. TTS systems, which we can probably use, but not right now. So let's go and have a look at the contracts. So between episodes in the last world, I managed to pick up another uh, pilot. And we'll have a look at this planet as well to see if we can get our fourth mech pilot. We've got three now for, let's quickly go to the barracks while these load in and go to Mech Warriors. Our main guys have been leveling up quite nicely. Just takes a second to load this in here. Here we go. So we've got um, Slide Rule. We picked up Slide Rule on the last planet. Um, it looks like he's gained enough experience just traveling here to uh, raise up a skill. And Puffin we picked up a little while ago. Um, and Odin is probably going to be the Lance Commander because we picked up her up first. So we're going to wait until she gets enough gunnery to go up to, gu to get gunnery up. But everybody else has been uh, ranking up pretty nicely here. Uh, Jasper, we want to get him to have Ace Pilot. But everybody else, all our main Lance guys are all uh, relatively high level here. So let's go back to Command Center and look at our contracts. See if we can find a good Five Skull mission today. And let's just drop down. There's no priority missions right now. Um, let's see here. Maybe we pull something off for Magistry of Canopus here. Something with good, this has got some good cash here. It's a battle in the Badlands. Commander, Canopian surveillance teams have picked up what we believe to be the signature of an active patrol of pirate mechs engaging in reconnaissance near the borders of our holdings on this planet. This is technically not a violation of our sovereignty, but it's clearly pro provocative. We need you to send a message by destroying the patrol mechs. Should you encounter any other, any other pirate units, there'll be a bonus for destroying those as well. So let's take this one on. Let's negotiate it. Let's go for full salvage. I know we want cash, but something like this we can't uh, can't necessarily turn uh, turn a blind eye to. So actually, you know what? Let's do this. Three or fourteen, and that way we'll make enough cash here to uh, make our next financial report. So let's accept that, and we'll head down with our main lance and deploy. It says we need more. Uh, Wait, but I think we're probably good here. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we gotta watch out for reinforcements. Chances are they're gonna be coming from back over here. So, we're gonna go up this side here, and we're gonna use this terrain here to divide us between the reinforcements and protection. So, let's just reserve. And then yeah. let's move... Who's up front here? I guess I am. 
So we want to try to avoid getting contact until we can get up the hill here. There's going to be a mech standing right back here. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. But that's the goal anyway. Once we get contact, they're going to know we're here. Obviously. And I want to be able to catch that mech up there flat-footed. Now I'm really hoping this being five skulls that it's not just two assault lances, that it's prob hopefully a mix of heavies and uh, heavies and assaults, but we'll see. It looks like the entire lance up here is probably assaults. Okay. Ready for orders. Gonna be able to spot who's there. So let's move here. Oh shoot. Time to earn our money. Okay, it's a vehicle, right on the edge of our sensors. So I don't know if they're going to be able to see us. Let's just get up here. We'll crest this hill next turn. 80 tons. So maybe it is... I don't know, maybe it could be a heavy... Heavy and assault lance. You need to crest first, so let's put you here. Alright, let's see what they do here. See if he attempts to close, or if he can actually see us, that is. Okay. So let's reserve. Yep. Alright, payroll. Oh, we should have got height back in the mech. Um, don't have visual, don't have visual range on them yet. Alright, well, we're just going to get close then. Yes, Commander. Let's get payroll up first. And let's get in the mineral field. Maybe a little bit of defense helps. Okay. Good to go. There we go. I copy. All right, let's get this party started. Let's see if this guy decides to close. If he stays there, he's dead. So that's probably the reinforcements moving right now. It looks like it's probably all assaults. Shrek AC carrier. AC fives and machine guns. That's it. Okay, eighty-five tenor. Most likely a stalker. The number of missiles. Damage minimal. Okay, so let's take on this carrier. With as many lasers as possible so we can save our ammo. So let's just fire on this guy. And we got flatliner here. Let's just move up. Not in a hurry to get over down here yet. Uh, as long as they can't see us. Okay, so that's one less vehicle we need to worry about. It totally yeah. is. Confirm. Okay, and Don't we're going to brace up here. So let's see who's going to be next here. We've got an 85 tonner and another 80 tonner. The fourth member of this unit is usually down here. And then the reinforcements come from back here. So they're probably waiting for the reinforcements to arrive. So who's stepping up? 100 ton vehicle. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be this guy's turn. So... Yeah, I need to wait. So let's reserve. And then let's move payroll up. Oof. Not very many spaces we can see this guy. Let's get up here. Find out what we're up against here. So this is just a regular Zeus, rocket launcher 20s, 
heavy rifle, mining drill, large, that's a pretty bad loadout. So let's just fire straight out on them. All weapons, fire. Okay. Commander? Flatliner, let's see if you can get up there. Oof, not quite enough. Nowhere we can see this guy, eh? Oh. Take that back. We can come up here. Not in a rush to get out in the open there. So these PPCs, can, uh, LRM Tunnies are out of range because of, the, because of the dead fire ammo. Let's see if we can get some more instability on this guy. Nice. Okay. Van Skater should be able to get in. Yeah, we can. Let's move. And let's use the Ultras on this guy since he's unstable. That should put his ass on the ground. Not having a good day. Okay. So, even if we sprint, we can't see him. Well, we can from back here. So let's do that. Might as well. Going for the headshot. Just trying to take his head off. Right leg gone. Comes all those missiles. Another head hit. Nice. So let's see if he decides to run. He probably won't. He'll stick it out and fire all those. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, yeah, here we go. Not firing the rockets, are you? I would have. Wow. He's almost done. That's alright, Darius. We expected the reinforcements. So we're going to try and shoot the Zeus's leg off. They got a lock on me. Just a regular engine. I thought there maybe he had an internal combustion engine there for a second, but because uh, the vehicle is kind of lousy. Ouch. Okay, so on my way. And we're gonna do a offensive push. Gonna go for the leg, and we're just gonna fire the two PPCs, I think. Target acquired. Nope. Failed to connect. How do we get a knockdown on him? The wind of the PPC is going by, probably. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we don't need to do an offensive push. We're just going to fire. Um, forget it. Two PPCs. Let's see if we can get a headshot. Oops, that was a torso. Let's see if we can get a headshot on them. Firing on target. Receiving you. Um... Let's just move you back here. Roger. And then let's move payroll up here. On it. Get the stability back. And we will use the PPC and go for the leg. So let's just use... Yeah, how much did we say? We got 66? So let's use these two. Ah, oh well. Two CT hits. Mech destroyed. Can't have everything, I guess. Alright, see what they do here. Reinforcements arriving. They still got a sensor lock on me, so there's not much I can do about this. Plus an 85 tonner back there. Probably another, um... Yeah, probably another Stalker. So I want to kill this 100-ton vehicle, but I think I want the Stalker gone first. Yikes! That's a lot of missiles. I hate these guys. Yeah, so do I. Don't worry. Receiving you. We will take care of them right now. 
And we're just gonna fire straight out on this guy. He wants to reveal himself, that's fine. We got lots of missiles too. Okay. Flatliner, we can get up here. There's no point in closing. Um, remember I said before, heavy mechs can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with assault mechs. So you generally just want to stay back. I love the long-range game against these guys. The, you know, if they were direct fire mechs, um, they'd, they'd stand a much better chance. But because they're not, the missile mechs, um, they don't really stand too much of a chance. The uh, spreading of damage is awful to these guys. So let's just go straight up for a CT hit. Actually, how much armor does a head have? It's got 61. So let's go after a headshot. We got four good shots with it. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, it's only 44 damage. Ah, he's in the trees. Okay, did not know that, but now I do. So let's move. Here. Going full throttle. We'll be able to see the vehicle. Demolisher 2. Ultra 20s. He's too far away to have to worry about right now, but we're going to fire these and try and kill the stalker. Is that enough? Almost. What has he got left? 37. Is he going to stick it out or is he going to run? No, he's doing his job. Sure, buddy. I'm trying to find out how much armor this Demolisher 2 has. Oof, nice shot. Damage is minor, Commander. 64 is not minor. Looks like the Demolisher 2's got a thousand something armor. Yeah. So he's pretty heavy, heavily uh, defended over there. So we're in the trees here with four chevrons of evasion, so I wasn't too worried about it. That's why I made that move. Let's see if this guy's going to be in close enough to shoot. No. So he does have good chunky armor here. We're gonna need to pummel him really hard. So let's start off. Um, let's reserve. I know I can take the stalker out, but what I wanna do is try and take this demolisher. So I am going to, in case I don't take the demolisher out, I wanna have enough movement that I'm pretty evasive. So let's get in close. And we're just going to fire straight out on this guy. Okay, so how do we do here? Come on, show me this. What do we hit? Side mostly, but not a lot. Okay, so next thing. Yes, Commander. Can we get to a point... where we can multi-target both of these guys? You got dead fire ammo, which is why you can't multi-target. I can here, but with just the LRM-20, so let's not do that. Actually, you know what? Let's move the cataract first. Aye, aye. And we're just going to walk down. Position confirmed. And we're removing the stability. And we're going to fire straight on the stalker. Oof, I was hoping to get the CT hit, but... Didn't work out. Oh, well, he's bailing though. Okay, good. Alright, now ground zero. Can we get to a point where we can see the demolisher? I guess not, eh? So let's start moving in. Gonna sprint it up and we're gonna LRM this. So let's just fire. A lot of splash damage. I was really not hoping to have to do the splash damage on him, but... 
Okay, using the Orion as a meat shield. And then we're, I'm gonna unload the LRM-20. With the dead fire, doing a lot more, but not as many missiles. So let's have a look here. Yeah, he's barely got anything left. So I need to really hope that he doesn't hit. He's got lots of ammo. So a lot more difficult to hit with five chevrons of evasion. Two ultra twenties. Let's see what they do. He's running. How far is he gonna run though? Far enough that he can't shoot me? No, nope, he's still gonna fight. He's gonna still gonna try. Okay, I think we got lucky there. Alright, so. Let's get moving up here. I'm gonna engage this guy. I'm just gonna leave the LRMs off. I could well, you know what? Forget. It. Let's make sure he gets. Let's make sure he dies. No point holding back at this point. Morning. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Okay, so now we're gonna reserve back. They're going to have to send another scout in. Let's find out who it's going to be. I guess I'm still sensor locked. Damn it. I'm wounded. Stop with the head hits. Okay, let's move. Flatliner forward. Primitive. see what they do here. 90 tonner. What's this guy back here? Sensor locking me. 80 tonner. Alright, let's move payroll first. Let's get down in here. I'm going to start moving on the flank of these guys. And I'm going to get Vein Skater up in here. Hmm. 80 tonner, maybe an awesome. Ready. So he's just going to move up here. Get a little bit behind the hill. Brace. Remove the instability for this turn. Do they have somebody else back there? Good to go. Alright, let's move into the woods. I'm going to have to start spotting these guys. I don't think I should sprint though. So let's going to move back here for now. Get my stability back. I can't really get up front there. If I was to do that, they just knock me over. Still sensor locked. Not much I can do about that. Okay. I'm your spaniel. Flatliner's a spaniel. Let's punish this guy now. So they have another guy down here, a hundred tonner. He's moving really slow. So let's try and take out this stalker. Don't like the large assortment of weapons on this guy. Okay. Head hit. Unstable. He's so unstable. Here comes a Highlander. Ooh, nice. First time we've encountered one of these guys. At least I think it's the first time. LRM-20 AC-10. It's not too bad. By. Let's move her up and get in the woods here. I'm gonna fire in the Stalker. I wanna remove this guy from the match. So he's fallen down. And then we're gonna move up the Catapult and hopefully finish this guy up. I'm thinking that is an awesome. Damage is light. 53 Order. is not light, buddy. 53 is not light. Not. Okay, so, Stalker. How much do you got left in the torso here? Not bad. I mean, we could probably, with two shots, we could take that torso. 
Hasn't really been hitting the CT. His head's been hit though. Let's go for the head. Why not? Cockpit crit. Oh, we did get a head hit. Scored a critical hit. But I guess because he's in woods, wasn't enough. Down to five. Somebody's getting some LRMs next turn. Showing minor damage. All right. Commander. Just going to walk it around. Becoming more stable. And then we're going to just fire with the LRMs, go for a headshot. We should be okay. All we need is couple, all we need one hit. No, we didn't even get one hit, really, with all those missiles? 45 missiles and not even one hit. Rawr. Okay, uh, we need to move. So let's get into here. We're only going to walk. We're getting our stability back. Highlander's got a lot of armor. Relatively. Stalker's going to die. So let's do a multi-target. Let's fire on 85, 85 is both the same. Let's fire on the Highlander because he's closer, and then this guy. We're going to fire the LRMs to B. Got it, Commander. That should probably be enough to finish this guy up. Hopefully if we get one head hit. All we need is one head hit. Nope. Take that. Take what? He's not dead yet, buddy. 117 left in the CT. Okay, uh, let's move you up. But you definitely need to be in the mineral field. It's plus two for us to hit, but plus four for them. And we're going to fire everything on the Highlander. Said stability check. There, okay, the knockdown. I thought he just passed that stability check, and I was going to be like, with all that, are you kidding me? Okay, so, payroll. Right Let's get you in the mineral field, and I want you to finish up that stalker. You can't get up. Let's fire on the CT and finish this thing up. That should do it. There we go. No retreat. Target destroyed. You bet. Okay, we're going to switch in a second. The Orion's going to come back out. So depending on who they're targeting here... Yeah, he's running. And sensor locking. Okay. So the Warhammer is going to be switched out with the Orion. Switch. -a. Comes the PPC hits. Yikes. Not much armor left in that location. Yeah, no kidding. It's okay, man. You're backing up in a second. Ouch. What is that thing? Yeah, it's okay. You're walking out of there. Don't worry. Just relax. Okay. Let's reserve. First things first. Flatliner is going to get out of there. Cannot sprint, though, unfortunately. So where are you damaged here? Mostly on the left side. Uh, so we want to turn our right side to the enemy. Won't be able to target from back here. I wonder why that is. Let's do this. Moving to position. It's gonna walk it over here, get some stability back, and we're gonna unload on this guy. Locked and loaded. See if we can Good get job. him to put his head down a bit. Eh. Not too bad. Okay, ground zero is yep. moving up now, sprinting it in. Can't get all the way in, unfortunately. Oh, we're going to target that awesome. Firing everything. Could have gone for a cold shot, but I really want to get the instability on him. Like that. So then we can follow up this way. Now we'll be able to see what this heavy heavy mech is. But I want to just get in like this. Get some evasion going. What are we looking at here? Gosszilla. Damn it.
That's it for him. Gossilla, eh? Okay, it's got less internal structure, though. More armor. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um... Target this Highlander. Firing everything. Let's force this guy to keep his head down. Alright, let's see what they do here. They've got a sensor lock on me. Okay, here comes the Gauss rifles. Oh, what's he doing? Moving into the mineral field? I'm happy with that because then he's plus two to hit when he's in there. Okay, so no hits. Alright, it's time to push this Highlander. So, let's sprint it down here. Huh. Partially... <laughs> he's partially uh, in, like, hidden there and I can still get a 99% chance to hit with everything. So the question is, do I go after him or the Godzilla? Highlander. Let's get rid of the Highlander. If we could take this guy down, then we have to just deal with the four Gauss rifles. Where are the rifles anyway? One, in the, I guess it's one in each arm and one in each torso. Engine. Hmm. So he's got an XL engine, eh? Could go for a headshot. 75% chance to hit the torso though, so let's go after the torso. Goodbye. That was the right move. One less target. Okay, let's finish this guy up. Standing by. Um, I guess we have to sprint if we're gonna see him directly if we can. Or we can from over here. I was very shocked at being able to kill that Godzilla, but uh, we had really great chances to hit, so... Is he going down? No, but he will be in a second. Just walk over. I love the sound of rack in the morning, or auto cannons in the morning. Ah, uh, he survived that. That's impressive. Standing by. But he's not going to survive this. Acknowledge. Bye bye. Let's go CT. And turning off one medium pulse. Aye, aye. And that's it for that's it, folks. That's all. There, that's all she wrote. Alright. Fat payday at the end. Alright, so we've got enough cash now to uh, hold off our next financial report. Which is a good thing. Took a lot of damage on the Warhammer. Nothing penetrated though, which was good. A little bit of damage on the Cataract. Once again, you know, that Godzilla was pretty nasty and those missiles from the Stalkers were taking their toll for a while there. Great experience too. Alright, now we have to decide what we want here. We could take the Godzilla pieces, but we're still working on our Light Lance, and I know, you know, we should be working our way up, not down, but um, I'm having fun working my way down, so I have no problem with that. So, let's see, heavy machine guns. Those look pretty good. Large laser, medium triple plus lasers, LRM20s with stability, uh, eh, okay, PPC. What do we got down here? TC cockpit. Now I think we still have some of those left around. Exchangers, heat banks. What else do we have? Composite. We don't need those. Endo steel we don't need. Oh, plus three energy, plus three ballistic. Targeting systems. Those are nice. So let's take those two. And then let's take, I don't know, maybe the exchanger. Or the TC cockpit. 
We had enough for our second lance. We don't have enough for our first lance. But the exchanger is far more valuable because we can get more weapons in that way. So let's go this route. Some of these weapons look nice, but um, I think the utility of this other stuff is, is better. So let's just confirm this. So we got one awesome part, one Godzilla part, three stalker parts. That's nice. So we've got at least four pieces of stalker now. Ultra 20, again. Oh, we've got the two medium lasers. That's excellent. Double heat sink. Okay, good. We did pretty good. 16 million. All right. Magistri of Canapes took Fanardier from the Free Worlds League. So we flipped another planet. Cool. The main benefit is very... Which one is this? Awesome? We just picked up an awesome? Well, that's awesome. That's really cool. 100,000. So that's not bad. So we're below what we need for the next... Uh, financial report now not by much though so we got an awesome really check our bays here Let's check this guy out it's a missile version so if we strip everything repair it all we got two four missile hard points and two laser hard points that's it another laser point in the head so it's not much for 80 tons. But then again, we can make this an LRM platform or a, a, a close range SRM platform. But with only four, four of these, the SRMs really don't really do it. Well, let's do this. That's 561,000. So we're just going to have to leave it for now. Yeah, so we can't really repair any of these guys yet until we get uh, a lot more cash. So let's end the episode here. And feel free to click on the link here at the end because we're going to run the uh, second lance in the next uh, episode. And I will swap out uh, payroll so we have height back in the main lance again and we'll put her in charge of the second lance. And we'll do another mission on this planet. Try and get some cash out of that. Probably, well, we'll see. I don't know if I'm just going to go for straight, up for, for straight up cash or go for some salvage here. But we do need money, so we'll see what we do. But anyways, if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, well, I guess until the next episode, I'll see you in a bit.